We're now going to look at the installation of our Headphone Mate Sennheiser ear pads. Basically, for all of these models of headphones that I mentioned earlier, they all attach the, obviously the exact same way. And how it works is you're simply going to go inside the ear, you're going to reach for the side, and you're just going to pull up gently, and eventually it'll pop off just like that. It takes a little bit of force, but not, not too much. And as you can see, there's nothing here you're going to break. The only thing that's actually clipping those on are these little clips here and here all the way around. So when you pull off, these clips are too small for them to actually snap. It would take a lot of force to actually snap that. So you can pull pretty much as hard as you like and it's going to come off and nothing's going to happen to these. Now what you need to do is you need to look at the back here. And what you see is you have the rim, which is attached to the actual ear pad. We're interested in what's underneath that rim. Underneath that rim is what we call a lock ring. As you can see, I'm pulling this out. So that fits right under there. And we're just going to do this. And we're going to take the lock ring out, just like that. The lock ring is what you need to take out of your old ear pads and put into the new headphone mate ones you bought, because we do not supply these. <clears throat> so you're going to take that out. Now, we got the ear pad, we got the lock ring. This can be tricky, so I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. The easiest way to do it is in here you'll see a plastic rim right there. You have the rim that's connected to the ear pad on the outside, and then you have the plastic thinner plastic on the inside. Now this thinner plastic on the inside can be removed. So we're going to take that out just like that. See that? We're going to put that to the side. It's much easier to install the lock ring without that piece of plastic there. So that's what we're going to do. Now these ear pads are they're, they're nice material but they're not very delicate and what I mean by that is you can pull on them and you're going to need to pull on them quite a bit to fit this ring in. So this is actually one of the more difficult uh, installation processes for the items that we make. <clears throat> you're just going to start out, stick that in the top, just like that. You need to stick it underneath this plastic rim, just where I took it from. So. We're going to push down into the into the foam and into the leather to create some space underneath that uh, that rim for us to, to to push it under. Okay, so we're going to have the ear pad, the lock ring. Now we're going to put this in here, and we want to create space for the lock ring to fit underneath this rim. And what we're going to do there is put the lock ring on top of it. We're going to push down into the leather and push that lock ring under that rim when we get the space. And now we're just going to go around with our fingers, pulling on the leather and on the rim, fitting the lock ring in. And then once we get to there, we're going to switch hands. We're going to pull on the leather and the lock ring over, over, Got it. Now, that wasn't overly easy, but it is definitely doable. And once you do it a couple times, it'll be much easier the next time. You do have to push down a lot into the leather and the foam, into the table, and you do have to pull on it quite a bit in order to fit uh, that, that lock ring underneath the rim. Now that we have the lock ring in, that is the hardest part. We're now going to put this plastic frame back in, and it's going to be similar to the lock ring. We're just going to push it down, in, and we're going to keep pushing it down, and we're just going to rotate it around. Make sure it sticks. 
push down, go around. Now you're going to notice that the frame of this thing will bend. You might get some bends or creases in it, like here. It doesn't matter, it doesn't mean anything. The piece of plastic is designed to be pliable, so that is how you want it, and uh, that's done. So that one's all finito.